Number 49. Ethyl chloride, which has a boiling point of 13 degrees Celsius, is used as a local anesthetic. When the liquid is sprayed onto the skin, it cools the skin enough to freeze and numb it. Explain the cooling effect of liquid liquid ethyl chloride. Okay. So, uh, here's somebody ready to get some, I guess, a numbing, numbing spray on them, right? They go to the doctor, don't know what, what, what's going on. Maybe they need to take a biopsy or something, but this person needs local anesthetic. So the medical professional is going to spray some of the liquid onto the skin. So here we go. Spray, spray, spray. Choo, choo, choo. <laughs> Aye. And obviously the skin is going to get liquefied, not liquefied, but you know, it's going to be it's going to be, uh, you know, all liquid on here of the ethyl chloride. Okay, now, in order for the rest to make sense, we just have to know that body temp, our body has a certain temperature, right? Depending on how healthy we're feeling, but body temperature is roughly around 37 degrees Celsius. So like the 98 degrees Fahrenheit, but roughly 37 degrees Celsius. And... For ethyl chloride, the boiling point is 13. So that means that if we're dealing with the boiling point of 13 degrees Celsius, anything, and maybe I could do it like this. We'll put a line through this. Anything below 13 degrees Celsius is going to be a liquid until it reaches its melting point. And anything above 13 degrees Celsius is going to be a gas because the 13 degrees Celsius is the conversion between the liquid converting into its gas. So we're clearly over the limit. Once that ethyl chloride is sprayed onto the skin, it's reacting with body temperature. So we're somewhere over here. We're at 37 degrees Celsius. And what's going to happen to the liquid that was sprayed? Well, the ethyl chloride is going to be a liquid and it's going to convert into a gas. Okay, so we're on the right track. So the first thing that's going to happen is since we're way over the boiling point, all the liquid that was sprayed on is going to get converted into a gas. Now, this is vaporization. Vaporization is the process that converts a liquid into a gas at a certain boiling point, at a certain temperature. And just know that vaporization is always an endothermic process, which means that the substance, whatever substance that is being converted from the liquid to a gas, is going to absorb the heat. In this case, I'm just going to bring this out a little bit, what is going to absorb the heat? The ethyl chloride. But we know that heat cannot be created nor destroyed. It's just like matter. It just has to be transferred. So if ethyl chloride is being absorbed because the process is endothermic, that means somewhere else is losing. And the only two things that are coming in contact with each other is the ethyl chloride being sprayed on the skin. So if the ethyl chloride is taking the heat... What is losing the heat? Ah, you got it. Little Susie Q over here, right? The body temp is being released of the heat. The thermal body heat is being stripped away because the ethyl chloride is turning into a gas and it's evaporating off the skin. Gas, gas. And because of that, it's taking all the heat away. So you know, out goes the vaporization, turns it into a gas, and the heat is now coming out of the body, uh, you know, wherever that local anesthetic was, was placed. So the ethyl chloride absorbs the heat, the body 
releases the heat because it's it's coming from the body's own thermal storage. So if your body is releasing the heat and giving it to the ethyl chloride, it's going to decrease the temperature on the skin. And if you decrease the temperature of the skin, of course it's going to feel cool. And that's the cooling effect. And I'm sure that, you know, if we did look up the uh, enthalpy, the enthalpy of vaporization, it's probably going to be roughly a high number because you're freezing and numbing it. So it's a very intense type of heat removal because it's, it's you know, it is an anesthetic. So it's got to be so cold that, you know, a lot of heat is being you know, pumped out of the body because the ethyl chloride is taking it. And that's basically everything that's covering this question. And I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope you're having a great day. Let's keep studying hard. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the community. And I'm so glad that this channel can help you guys learn. We also have physics and math videos on the channel at the moment. So go check it out. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.